Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for January 8th, 2019. Well, hey, everyone, we have got quite a move going on here. Um, as a matter of fact, we're showing a bullish open this morning. The Dow futures are up 176 points at this very moment. And you can see we're looking at this gap up open this morning up here to challenge the high of yesterday. Um, one of the things that uh, we want to pay attention to, obviously, in a gap up open like this, we always have to be careful um, chasing into that open just in case we end up getting what's called a pop and drop type pattern. And we've seen a lot of that over the last few um, weeks and months, uh, gap up open and then selling coming in after that. So we'll want to watch that pretty closely this morning, just in case we want to make sure that those buyers are going to actually step up um, and support that. And so one of the ways that I do that is I look at a short term chart. Um, you could choose whatever time frame that you want, but I want to, I, I normally go to like a 15 minute chart and I'm watching to see after we gap get this gap up in the move and we get that little pullback in the morning I want to see those buyers coming in to step in to push that back up after that gap we want to see that follow through that moving on through um, what we don't want to see is obviously the opposite where we gap up in the morning and then end up seeing selling the rest of the day so you want to watch that closely uh, going into the morning other than that, what's happening right now is the federal government seems to be making progress on the U.S.-China trade negotiations. At least that's what the news spin right now, that things seem to be pro progressive and that a deal may potentially be coming out of that. So the market has got some bullish energy as a result of that, even though we are now in our 18th day of government shutdown. Now, the president's made a bold move here, and whether it's going to be a good move or a bad move, I don't know, and I'm not even going to weigh in on the topic, to tell you the truth. But he's he as um, will be addressing the nation tonight in uh, or from the Oval Office, um, certainly stirring up a tremendous amount of controversy. There's going to be a firestorm of political spin today. So one of the things we're going to have to stay kind of focused on and, and be flexible is that uh, the market could be very, very sensitive to any of that political spin, depending on how that starts to shape itself. So watch that closely. And that could even affect overnight so you're going to want to think about that how you plan um, your risk moving into the evening with uh, that speech and, and the spin and the things that could result uh, from that let's hope that the u.s china trade negotiation uh situation continues to hold or bolster the bulls here and hold this up now if we get a third straight day of bullish price action meaning a close that remains bullish today i want you to notice we haven't seen three straight days in uh the uh, the, the Dow here since November, late November. So that would be a really nice change for the market to see a little bit of bullishness. Now, I have to admit that I honestly would rather see, instead of a big gap up, I would rather see um, the market kind of rest or consolidate here, just build a level of support rather than overstretching the way we have. And I'll show you an indicator here in, a, in just a little bit that would suggest um, that we're, we have stretched that rubber band to one side a little bit too high. So right in here, we have all of this congestion. If we look at the um, the market here, we have all of this price congestion throughout this range. So as we push up into this range in here, we're going to want to watch that price congestion for the potential that, uh, well, just some profit taking, some pushback. And if that pushback were to occur anywhere in here and we hold above this level, I would say that is very bullish for the market if we can hold in this level and maintain this trend. So we'll 
we'll want to watch that closely. If we take a look at our moving averages, you can see we would be pushing up toward that 34 exponential moving average, which is a normal stopping point for the market if we do, if we can reach up there. Um, and then please keep in mind that 50 day moving average is still dropping and the possibility of that rally all the way through up to the 50 day moving average is possible before we catch a failure. If there's just enough bullish energy or perhaps if that um, trade negotiation uh, does go well and we get a deal, we could certainly see the bulls push right on through those levels. Let's take a look at the SPY real quickly. SPY poking its head up against this resistance level right in here. And I would suggest this resistance level is kind of double layered right through here. So any rally up into here, we're going to want to watch pretty closely, pretty carefully for the potential of that selling um, or some profit taking to come in as we move up here to maybe attack this downtrend line. So we'll want to watch that close. Also, if we take a quick look at our moving averages, right there's that 34 EMA and that potential of that rally up in here toward that 50 um, is going to co really coincide with that downtrend line. So watch this at any point in time in here, we could see a little bit of pullback, a little bit of profit taking. So plan that into your trading and just stay very focused on the price action, not over committing and, and be really careful not to chase the morning gap. Let's take a look at the cues. Q is looking really good and showing um, lots of strength. And you can see this morning, we could gap up right into that downtrend line resistance. So we'll want to watch that closely to see anywhere in this range. And I would put that in more of a wide range rather than just um, a, a, a narrow line. But any rally up into here, we'll want to watch that carefully. Uh, breaching these resistance levels is a really good thing, but watch for that potential of that pullback in here. Be careful not to chase um, that open this morning. So good signs showing up here in the market. And that's what we like to see. And lots of good charts starting to show up um, in um, results. If we take a look at IWM, really think IWM is is pushing its limits here just a little bit in this rally and we're running right up in here into that price area that I'm going to suggest right in here with IWM and we'll want to watch that closely as we rally up toward that resistance area watching for that potential that some profit takers could come in and allow the market to settle down just a little bit so watch that close here again looking at those moving averages moving up toward that 34 where we really kind of touched that yesterday we're looking at a gap up to retest that area today so I wouldn't be at all surprised to see a little bit of profit taking but we'll have to wait and see because any of that political spin any of that news could certainly drive us through that level notice how clearly we failed that 50-day moving average right here and any rally up into here we would want to be really suspect uh, or be very watchful of the potential of a pullback so watch that close let's take a look at um, the VIX here the VIX pulling back nicely and you can see breaking back down through this level of support that's nice we yesterday kind of failed and moved on through um, this uptrend in here that's a good sign but please keep in mind uh, the way markets normally move as we seesaw up and down uh, gapping up this morning we likely see the VIX drop a little bit more but if we start seeing some uh, selling or profit taking come in that could rally up into here and we want to see that fail at that resistance area or before that resistance area next level of support here for the VIX down in this area. So if we can push down into there, that would be awesome. A little calming effect that's certainly helping option pricing and things are starting to look better for us as, as the market tries to bottom out here. Let's take a look or complete its bottom, I should say. Let's take a look at T2122. T2122, that four week new high, no, new low ratio. This is where my concern rests. And that is that we are in a short term um, overbought 
hot condition. Now, this doesn't necessarily mean we immediately have to sell off, that there's a, an imminent threat of a sell off. We can bounce around up in there in that area for a while, and we still have some room to move up. But if you pull this back, this is uh, the daily chart, you can see how consistently this works. And when we reach these levels up here, we tend to see some profit taking coming in. So we'll want to watch that closely. We are in that reversal zone and this massive spike up can sometimes, you know, trigger some uh, profit taking. So watch that closely. Um, and that would be my bigger concern today that we're, we may be just short term stretching this rubber band a little bit too tight. Let's take a look at um, the economic calendar today. Our economic calendar, whoops, there we go. Our economic calendar today, we don't have a ton of stuff on here, but we do have international trade coming out at 8.30 this morning. And we have the JOTS report uh, today coming out at 10 o'clock. A uh, few other things on here to really not be worried about, but a couple items that could move the market around a little bit. So be aware of those that they're coming. We also also have about 15 companies reporting earnings today. Um, a couple of those um, um, might be notable like um, HE H E L E reporting this morning. Um, looks like it might be gapping down. Helena Troy is one of those that's kind of a notable company to keep an eye on. And then L N N, you can see uh, this company uh, right around 100 hundred uh, dollars here I don't we've got a really wide bid ass spread I can't tell if this is reported or or not um, this morning so we'll have to kind of keep an eye on that so big companies that that report earnings can definitely move the market around and we want to pay attention to that as those occur let's take a look um, there are some charts out there that I really like and ones that I'm kind of watching on a short-term chart um, if we take a look at FDX, you can see FDX is starting to build a bottoming pattern. And, and by the way, um, tonight, um, 8 p.m. Eastern Time, in room four, come to the Hit and Run Candlesticks website, um, go to room four. I'm gonna be doing a class uh, free to the public, so everyone's invited, on bottoming patterns in stocks. And it's something that I watch pretty closely because I think there could be tremendous opportunity if the market does bottom here and we start to rally back up. And FedEx is one of those that's starting to show some nice bottoming type patterns here with a nice open gap above. Look at that nice open gap. Could be a really nice move in here. So taking a look at that, if we were to look at this on a hourly chart, you can see we have this really nice rising pattern here moving up, moving toward this resistance area in here, trying to poke through into this open gap. Might be something to watch if you're looking for a quick trade or even something that um, could um, you could hold for a little bit longer if the market does rally. But we're looking at you know a good 10, 11 point potential move in here on um, FDX. Really like that chart. Think it has some potential in it. There's quite a few charts out there that are making um, really good looking patterns here going on. Uh, GLUU, nice little rising pattern here um, a bit of a breakout right here and a there's that nice little wedge pattern that we look for a lot where we just kind of wound up this price action and finally burst through the top so we'll want to watch this area up here any kind of rest or consolidating pullback into the trend we'll want to watch that um, for GLUU. I don't know that I would chase it here today, but certainly looking uh, very promising here on the day. So we'll want to we'll keep an eye on that. Other charts um, that 
uh, are really showing good signs. Uh, C R O N, C R O N, nice little break uh, move here, holding really, really well in this trend. Once again, I mentioned this yesterday. We have to pay attention to this price resistance area up here. But if this can rest or consolidate, move back over toward its trend, build a little energy, we could see uh, that pop on out as well. We're seeing lots of good bottoming type patterns and charts. So you'll want to stay very, very focused to the price action. Um, if we happen to get some failure patterns, um, today, if, if we do see some selling coming in, that doesn't negate these as being really good potential trades. They just may uh, need a little bit more time as the market kind of rests and pulls back to complete some of these bottoming uh, patterns in some of these big stocks that we're looking at. One of those would be like uh, Facebook here. Facebook trying to break this long-term downtrend, trying to hold up here in a bullish way. We have a, uh, a nice little inverted head and shoulders pattern that could be forming in here. We need a little bit of rest, a little bit of consolidation to prove we can hold on to support here. And then um, Facebook looks like it could be set to move higher so lots of charts starting to show that that calming effect that bottoming pattern could be coming into play so something we want to keep an eye on so with that everyone hey i want to wish you all a fantastic day i want to wish you great profits and if this is the first time you've seen these videos, please do me a favor. Click on that subscribe button on YouTube. Follow me button on Facebook. Click those thumbs up buttons and leave a comment. Guys, I can't even tell you how important that is and, and how wonderful it is that so many of you take the time to do that. Thank you very much. It's very humbling that you take the time to leave a comment. That helps the algorithms show these videos to more folks. Thank you so much for that. And um, always feel free to share these videos with any friends and family. With that, everyone, I want to wish you all a great profitable day. Everyone take care of yourselves. We'll see you right back here bright and early Wednesday morning. And please keep in mind that president's speech tonight could create some volatility in the market. So be careful, be watchful, and be focused on that price action. Everyone take care. Have an awesome day. I'll talk to you all very soon. <music>